Hello everyone and welcome back to CRGTI channel. It's been a long time and today I will come back with a new tutorial that's see how to create rainbow light effect with Medibank Pen Pro. Yeah. Okay, and I must say that this tutorial is not really simple as it looks. Um, you just need some simple step but actually you need some skill like understand about the lighting and the shadow some kind of like that and a little bit uh, be ca careful when you drawing that's it for the detail so let's start it with this tutorial As you can see on the screen right now, this is a portrait with the transparent background and the white background here is in the different layer. Uh, with the transparent background like this, you can go to the select in here and choose create selection from layer opacity in here and it will create a new selection immediately for you guys. Then I will create a new layer and choose multiply here. The blending is multiply, okay? Next, I will use the bucket tool and reference is layer. Pick the right color for you guys to create a shadow for the picture. Then go to select and use the select here to turn off the selection area or just simply use control with D. Okay, like this one. Now I will use the eraser tool to erase uh, the some part to show where is the light area and where is the shadows in here. This will make your picture look more realistic and uh, more beautiful. I need to blend it out, so I will use the watercolor brush and use transparent spot. So let's say we are finished this one. Next, I will create uh, the rainbow. First, I will try to find the rainbow uh, brush around somewhere on the internet and. Um, I found one here because I cannot create the rainbow brush they are need doing coding or something like that so here you can see that is the rainbow brush I found on a DeviantArt and you can um, go there and download it really easy they also have the YouTube uh, video to show you guys how to uh, install this uh, brush and you, I will put the link in the description to show you guys where to download this rainbow brush. Okay, go back with there. I will create a new layer. That's the layer fourteen here. I will rename it into the rainbow. Okay, and here I already have rainbow brush here. When you use the rainbow brush, if you're going to be like this, you will carefully draw around the part you want to create a rainbow things like this one or simply go like this okay here that's the result you got then you'll go to the filter and choose Gaussian blur here to create the blurry look and click OK use airbrush again with the transparent box to erase some part at the beginning and at the end to make it look fade okay here then for the blending you go to the color it will look like this you can go to the few uh, filter and choose uh, hue saturation brightness here to change uh, the rainbow look or create make it more high saturation or more brightness depend your choice Fix it until you satisfy with the result you got. The next thing is that is the complicated and the difficult part that you have to create the lightning look. So I will create new layers in here and choose Dodge first. And I will use airbrush in here, pick the right color. You can see that here we have the blue and the red color. Here I will pick the blue first. Choose the high saturation blue here around this one near the, the purple. It's going to be more violet than blue. And start to paint around here. You can see that the color now is tied up proper like this. And the same for the um, the red part. 
Remember that this is the part you need to pan uh, where the uh, the light will affect you here. This means don't pan in the shadow part. You, you will understand. I will create a new layer to talk about this one. Okay, so uh, it, I mean like this. Okay, his uh, things are rounded. Okay, and when the light affects here, you will have the dark the shadow part and the light part around here okay so I am trying to pan the light part only not the shadow okay with the dot layer around here with the airbrush okay go back with the airbrush and the dot here pick the right color you think it will fit and here too and here's the result you got Next, I create a new layer and choose blending is add to make it glowing. Okay, I will switch to the white color and use airbrush again with lower opacity in the brush control. And here will be the part where it's going to pop. This is the part where it's going to pop around here. In the eye too, and a little bit for the eye color around here. So basically, this tutorial is finished, and you already created the uh, rainbow light effect with Medibank Pen Pro. However, you can see that this one is not really um, give you the realistic feeling, and it's not really beautiful, right? So uh, the next step is optional in case that you want it to look more beautiful. Okay, here that you can see that I will create a new layer and it will be below the add layer, okay? And change the blending to burn. The burn layer, the burn blending here for the layer will make everything look darker. Why I need to look darker? You can see that there's some part in the eye that he don't have the the um, the, sh the light we cast in here but actually this will be the shadow and it look need to look darker uh, you can find more reference on the internet just search for the um, rainbow filter effect yeah uh, in the instagram you can see that to see where we should put the shadow in and where we should put the light in so here with the bird here, I also use only the airbrush with some uh, color around this part. For the blue, you will pick the blue color and for the red, you will pick the red color. Okay, remember to fit the color of the rainbow so it will look better. And you can see when I draw around the eyelids in here, it will look a little bit darker. And also here for the circle of the eye pupil. Same here for the under eyelid it will be around here in case you think it look too dark you can lower the opacity of the brush in the brush control like this even for this one you will know that what is this this is the bouncing uh, light when the shadow casts in your eye and your upper eyelid in here if you do have the double eyelid it will have the bouncing a little bit around here and then you will cast mark here go back with the add layer here you need to erase use your airbrush and change to the transparent spot why because we need to have the soft look not the eraser tool okay just use airbrush and transparent here then you erase the the black circle inside the eye you can see that when you erase it it look more beautiful right and also here for the eyelid a little bit around here and a little bit around here also I will use the white color in here to draw the white of the light when you will see that in the reference a picture that you will have the white light in your eyelash so that's why I will draw a little bit around here And 
that's it. You can see that after you're spending a little bit time to with the final detail, the result will look different and it look better. So that is all about my tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.